Let's talk about health. If you want to create better health in your body, there are definitely some things you must not do. You must not get angry at your body for any reason. Anger is another affirmation, and it is telling your body that you hate it or hate parts of it. Your cells are very aware of every thought you have. Think of your body as a servant that is working as hard as it can to keep you in perfect health no matter how you treat it. Your body knows how to heal itself. If you feed it healthy foods and beverages and give it exercise and sufficient sleep and think happy thoughts, then its work is easy. The cells are working in a happy, healthy atmosphere. However, if you feed it junk foods and drink lots of diet soda, be a couch potato and skimp on sleep and are grouchy and complaining all the time, then the cells in your body are working at a disadvantage and in a disagreeable atmosphere. Then it's no wonder that your body is not as healthy as you would like it to be. You will never create good health by talking or thinking about your illness. Good health comes from love and appreciation. You want to put as much love into your body as you possibly can. Talk to it in loving ways. Touch and stroke it in loving ways. If there is a part of your body that is ailing or diseased, then you want to treat it as you would a sick little child. Tell it how much you love it and that you are doing everything you can to help it get well quickly. If you are sick, then you want to do more than just go to the doctor and have him give you a chemical to take care of the symptom. Your body is telling you that something you are doing is not good for your body. You need to learn more about health. The more you learn, the easier it is to take care of your body. You do not want to choose to feel like a victim. That just gives your power away. You could go to a health food store and pick up one of the many good books that teach you how to keep yourself healthy. You could see a nutritionist and have a healthy diet created just for you. Or you could see a holistic health practitioner. Do create a healthy, happy mental atmosphere. Be a willing participant in your own health plan. I believe we create every so-called illness in our body. The body, like everything else in life, is a mirror of our inner thoughts and beliefs. The body is always talking to us if we will only take the time to listen. Every cell within your body responds to every single thought you think and every word you speak. Continuous modes of thinking and speaking produce body behaviors and postures and eases or diseases. The person who has a permanently scowling face did not produce that by having joyous, loving thoughts. Older people's faces and bodies show so clearly a lifetime of thinking patterns. How will you look when you are elderly? Learn to accept that your life is not a series of random events, but a pathway of awakening. If every day is an awakening, you will never grow old. You will just keep growing. Imagine the day you turn 49 as the infancy of another life. A woman today who reaches the age 50 and remains free of cancer and heart disease can expect to see her 92nd birthday. You and only you have the ability to customize your own life cycle. So change your thinking now and get going. You are here for a very important reason and all you need is available to you. You can create thoughts that create a mental atmosphere that contributes to illness, or you can choose to think thoughts that create a healthy atmosphere both within you and around you. For a complete guide to healing affirmations for diseases, please read my book, Heal Your Body. Positive Affirmations for Health I enjoy the foods that are best for my body. I love every cell of my body. I make healthy choices. I have respect for myself. I look forward to a healthy old age because I take loving care of my body now. I am constantly discovering new ways to improve my health. 
I return my body to optimum health by giving it what it needs on every level. Healing happens. I get my mind out of the way and allow the intelligence of my body to do its healing work naturally. I have a special guardian angel. I am divinely guided and protected at all times. Perfect health is my divine right and I claim it now. I am grateful for my healthy body. I love life. I am the only person who has control over my eating habits. I can always resist something if I choose to. Water is my favorite beverage. I drink lots of water to cleanse my body and mind. Filling my mind with pleasant thoughts is the quickest road to health. 